and I've already imported my like my previous Rhino model that I used to run solar radiation analysis with Ladybug. So let me put a point here and then replace our set uh, our sun path and if I increase the sun path scale you see this is our sun path and our sun path is putting the shadows on what we are having here so this might be like this might be the very first thing that we can do for the solar radiation analysis because we'll be identifying some like we'll be identifying some information right like this portion will get more sun this portion will get less sun and stuff like that but let's jump into the analysis for anything that we do in climate studio as you remember from the rhino video we define materials right but before we define materials let's grab the lighting let's go to the lighting simulations and let's say let's grab the run climate studio radiation so what this is asking for it's asking for a name model weather as i said samples number of samples number of samples per sensor save hourly if you want to have it hourly or not and start simulation so the name is cs underscore grass solar rad let's say this is our name which because with this name it's going to create its csr extension file right? and for the model what we need is construct climate studio daylight model and what this does what this is asking for us is scene layers and scene layers are construct scene layers okay, maybe i can take you guys here and the name material geometry and the view tag okay if needed we don't need that now so the name let's say context all right let's put the name in for the name context we need a material and for that we can go get CS sliding material and you can type the material by searching it and then grabbing it here or you can select the material so for the context let's say concrete or exterior concrete exterior concrete wall this is our material and we can put this in and it's asking for the geometry so why don't we maybe enlarge this a bit and why don't we have a couple of small, maybe towers around setting this small. And for the geometry, we can put the B-Rep set, multiple B-Reps. So these are my geometries to have the context, okay? The next thing that we'll be doing is, for this one, is we're going to copy this and paste it because we may want to have the ground as well right because at the end of the day it's asking for the scene layers windows luminaires tubular devices sensor grids camera and north offset so if you come over here we need an analysis surface as well so what is the analysis surface that we are going to use is this guy right so i'll be grabbing a b-rat set one b-rat and put this in and we can name it as an ID, like the option one. Okay, I put this in. And it's asking for spacing, right? So now spacing is four point something something. We can say, okay, we want to have 2.5 as sensors. And if we zoom in, we will see that description we needed. Is it a box or surface? No, it's a box. So we can put the sensor grid to our model as well so the scene layers are going to be connected to scene layers layer sensor grid is going to be in sensor grid right so maybe one thing we can have here is the ground 
set one vwrap as our ground we can type it as a ground and then we can select the material for the ground as asphalt asphalt road it's, it's up to you you can put anything as you so with this being said we are finishing this video because now we put the materials in in the next video how we get i'll show you how we are going to compile everything in our model so i'll see you in the next one